is the latest from the PNC studio at Hallis Hall. After overcoming his injury from early in OTAs, rookie wide receiver Daz Newsom is on the field and ready to make an impact. I feel good. I feel I'm feeling better and better every day. Just trying to get all my alignments. Because, you know, like a lot of reps, you got to really be down the field for you to for you feel forward to click a lot. But other than that, I just got a ball. Daz is a great kid. He's got an infectious personality, as you all see. I mean, and it's just very authentic and real. But it's also neat to see him want to learn from these older receivers, too. And so he's just taking it all in. And uh, it'll be interesting to get him out there and really get going and see what he can do. The defense turned heads with some big plays at Camp Sunday. You know, we just compete. Everybody do their job, play with relentless effort, and you know everything else kind of takes care of itself. So we've got a lot of dogs on defense, so it's definitely exciting. It was a special night in Canton Saturday night. A big congratulations goes out to former Bears offensive lineman Jimbo Covert on his Pro Football Hall of Fame induction. When I first got to the Bears in 1983, we weren't a very good football team. One of my first meetings, Mike Dicka said, I got good news and bad news. Good news is we're going to the Super Bowl. Bad news is half you guys won't be there when we do. But he pushed us hard, but I also believe he reestablished the pride back into the Bears organization. That playing in the NFL is a privilege and not a right. And that when you pull that Bears jersey over your pads and put on that helmet with that C on the side, it means something special. Keep following along on the Bears social media channels and ChicagoBears.com for all of your team news. This Bears update has been brought to you by Microsoft Surface.